Yeah. Everybody say, why we want to talk about a Confederate statue? And I want to know why the Confederate statue in a courthouse. This is the one place where it should be equal justice. The one place where justice should be blind. But these types of symbols were erected to oppose justice. They were erected for fear and then for us to have them at a courthouse. If you want to keep it, put it in a museum. Put it on a museum site, but don't put it in front of a courthouse. Because what it does, when a black man like me has to walk by this to walk into the courthouse, the first thing I know is that I'm not going to get treated fair here. That's what I know and understand. And then what I know is that the individuals on the inside of here, what they can do is look out at it and know that they don't have to treat no damn body fair. This is a symbol of racism. They say it's a symbol of heritage. What heritage are you talking about? Because I assure you my forefathers don't believe it's a heritage that they are happy about. Well, it's about states' rights. Well, let's think about the right that the state was fighting for. They was fighting for the right to keep slaves. So is that the heritage that we are proud of? Is that the heritage that we want? And what's saying? Is that everybody likes to say, oh, we need to be unified, and, and, and you my brother, and I love you. But I tell you, if somebody's in my family is hurt, and they tell me they hurt, I'm gonna do what I can to fix it. I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna do what I can to fix that because you're hurt. Well, if I'm your brother, and if you believe that we can get along, you believe that you should stand up for me, help me out when you can. How come you won't help me with this? Because I'm telling you it's hurting me. I'm telling you that it is painful. Nobody's trying to strip away history. And that's the first thing they'll tell you. Oh, they're trying to strip away history. Well, let's talk about history a little bit. The 4th of July, we celebrate the birth of this nation. And from my understanding, when the Constitution was written, it does something unique. It said a person that looked like me wasn't a fool man. Let's remember that. The very day that we are celebrating is the day that it was put in paper with a pen. Then I'm three-fifths of a man. So let's talk about our history. That cloud. See, the same courthouse that we're standing in front of, I'm willing to bet, was built on the black of, on the back of black people. Yeah. I'm willing to bet that. And even with the rhetoric that's coming from the White House, don't matter what your political philosophy is, we know that it was slaves that built that same White House. Yeah. There's a dark cloud over this country and over this nation. It had been over this nation for more than 400 years doing slavery. No, I ain't no buck, because I'm talking. I'm not going to stop talking. See, that's the problem, is that we have been willing to let other people tell us our history. It's time for me to tell our history. When we talk about Black Lives Matter, I need you to listen to me so you can understand what I'm trying to say. No, no, you're not. You think you know, and that's what the problem is. I can't understand why people love to tell a black man what he should feel. You cannot tell me if I'm telling you I'm offended. Be a true brother and say, what can I do to stop the offense? Well, if you hurt, so. what can I do to help you not hurt? If you bleed, how can I help? If I was cut right now, bleeding, and I had blood running out, you would bring a Band-Aid over here and help me stop the bleed. Well, I'm telling you, monuments like this makes me bleed on the inside because it hurts my heart. Help me heal. We keep talking about we don't want to see a divided country. Well, I'm telling you, symbols like this is what divides the country but you're not willing to help me because you don't want to listen. You keep trying to tell me what should offend me instead of me telling you what should offend me. Listen to me, because it is hurting me. Nobody wants to do, ain't nobody with violence. That's not what it's about. I'm coming to you straight up as a man to tell you that I'm hurt and I need help. They love to tell, say the first thing they say, well, I'm not a racist, I got a black friend. I got black friends. I, got black I don't people. need you to tell
tell me that you're not racist. I need you to tell me that you're anti-racist. That means anytime yeah, racism rules his head, we cut it out. I want none. We cut it out. It all needs to be cut exactly. off. Exactly. monuments are history to teach us not to repeat history. We don't need to repeat anything. If our kids don't know about this, it's going to repeat itself. If our children don't know about why they were erected. Well, See, now, uh, let me finish. Now, I sat there and listened, okay. and I really should, and I, took, and I gave you too much thin. Our children need to know why they were erected. See, these statues, if you can look at the dates, they were not erected after the Civil War. If they so much pride in them, why they weren't erected after the Civil War? They wasn't. They wasn't erected after the Civil War. No. You know why? Because they, they were erected no reason behind the Civil War. You love to talk about it and tell that we, if I take a knee, I'm disrespecting the flag. If I don't stand up for the national anthem, I'm disrespecting it. I bet if I had an ISIS 